Greetings, my people, my beautiful, handsome people. How are you guys doing today? I am here tonight. Today, tonight, it's after 8. I want to make a video regarding the houses. I want to make sure you guys understand the importance of these houses and how um, you can look at it or look at it in a way that I, I look at it that makes it a little a little more a little more easier hopefully the way how I explained the houses in the other video is a bit um, clearer for you for those who did not know about the houses I hope I made it a little more clearer for you but right now I want to speak about um, my chart and what certain signs what certain sun signs bring into my life if or like if I were to come across certain signs what house do they shine in my life this is sort of like this is what you call sinistry sinistry is like um, how another person's planets affect your houses or how how another person's yeah exactly planets affect your houses so with me being a Libra rising right Libra you can see that I'm a Libra rising right that's Venus my chart rules or a lot of my life is ruled by Venus like my my whole life is about love Venus 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 the two signs that rule Venus are Taurus and Libra so my rising sign is Libra and Venus rules my whole chart so the most important thing to look at when you find out your time of birth and you know your rising sign for you to find out what your um, what the sign your ascendant what planet rules that sign and that's a whole nother I'm gonna make a series on that as well what planet um, rules the signs some planets some signs rule um, two planets rule those signs there's some signs where two planets rule that sign and some signs some signs only have one planet that rules it I look at the ones that have two planets that rule it very powerful because if you have two planets that rule one sign you're, you're a very powerful person basically um, so with me being a Libra rising right and with me explaining already how all the planets go down, how it all trickles down into order, and we know that at the, t the the first the first house would be where it starts, right? So with Libra, you know that um, Libra would be in my first house. I have a few planets in my second house, so um, Libra first, second, Scorpio is in my second house, third. Sagittarius is in my third house so the way how you see it like that you'll know that a Libra person with a Libra Sun sign would help would shine their light which is their Sun sign Libra they would shine their light on my first house and it also depends on the on the degrees of their Sun sign too if their degrees of their Sun sign is lower then it may go backwards so that sun sign may be in my 12th house if you know what I mean so they would shine their light on my first house of self and outer appearance and um, um, how people see me and all these things that's what Libras would do if I come across a Libra in my life another thing with um, another sign which is my second house Scorpio. Scorpios would shine their light on the sector of money and finances. Money and what is the second house rule? Money and possessions. They would shine their light on money and possessions or, or how I would be able to make money. How what they would give me ideas. They would shine their light in that part of my life. Right? So this is why I find it so important to know these things. But this is just the sun signs I'm talking about and I want you guys to be able to understand and look at every person that's in your life and you'll be able to figure out what their purpose is in your life and if it is a good 
if it is a good experience for you or if you need it or not, you know, it, it's very helpful. So the third house is about communication. So if I were to come across a Sagittarius, a Sagittarius would shine their light on communications, higher, higher, higher knowledge. They would shine the light on um, long distance travel. Um, yeah, that's philosophies. Um, Sagittarius is about philosophy too. Um, to the fourth house now. Fourth house rules. Well, in my chart, fourth house rules Capricorn. So, Capricorns. We know that Capricorns are about status and they're about reaching the status quo. But for that being in my fourth house, but the fourth house, the fourth house is about home, right? So. What gives me comfort is structure, basically, because I have Capricorn in my fourth house. So structure and reaching the status quo within home, this is my purpose. It all makes, it all intertwines. It, it's just, it boggles my mind sometimes. That's why I want people to understand this because I do other things as well. I can interpret your, interpret your chart and help you understand or find certain ways to help you along your path but I sort of want to show you guys the way how I think about it so that you can also look at it in that way and you won't even need my help you know what I mean so Capricorns would shine their light on career and reaching the status quo if I were to come across a sun sign Capricorn that's how it goes so the fifth house my fifth house is in what comes after Capricorn? After Capricorn is Aquarius, right? So Aquarius is all about um, the outside world and friends, um, humanitarianism, and all these things. For, so for Aquarius to be in my fifth house, it would mean that these people would bring. In my fifth house, a lot of creativity when it comes to, um, they would shine their light on creativity and um, creativity, children, and what else is there? The, the fifth house, creativity, children, and center stage, right? So Aquarius would shine their light on that part in my my fifth house sixth house sixth house after aquarius is pisces right it's very i don't know if i should continue just keep going but pisces is in my my sixth house so when it comes to work and health i sort of in a way am more on the spiritual spiritual path and these things bring me good health basically so a pisces which is you all know that the house of um the 12th house of divinity higher um realms and connecting to the higher realms connecting to the most highs that's pisces so when i meet a pisces if a piece a pisces comes into my life this is what they bring they shine their light on those things seventh house and it just trickles down my seventh house is in Aries so an Aries and the seventh house an Aries would shine their light on my seventh house of partnership and business basically when you find out yours and you find out what your seventh house is basically the seventh house would tell you who's the best business business partner for you um, Who's the best um, fit for maybe partnership or relationships, even marriage? The seventh house tells you that because in a way you are your ascendant. That, that's your personality. Your ascendant is your personality. And the seventh house is something that you're, you're sort of lacking. So that other person would bring that into you and you would be intertwined in that way. And it would, it would be... A very good business um, idea or business partnership or even marriage depending on how other how that person's other planets 
fall in your other houses as well. We're just talking about the sun. And the sun rules, let me just look because I have a little, the sun rules, represents, uh oh, you guys didn't see that. The sun, yeah, the sun represents your basic self expression. It is how you act, wishes, success, happiness, all purpose. Right? So, the sun represents your basic, your basic self-expression, and that's your sun sign, and that's what everybody usually knows, right? They usually know what their sun sign is. Lord of mercy, I just hope I, I, I encourage you guys to, to actually find out, find out what your your sun and your moon and your Mercury and your, your Mars and your and your and your Jupiter and your and your and your, and your, and your and all of them, Saturn and Uranus and, and Pluto. And Neptune is our whole heap of ancestors we have, you know, and them they are they are here to help us. But I'm not gonna um I think I made it very simple for you guys to understand just by using my chart as an ex as an example. So um, if you have any questions, just hit me up. My email should I I'm gonna put my email in the bottom of this video so that you guys can reach me. And um, what else is there? What else is there? What else is there? What else is there? Yeah, it's fun. It's really fun to me. If you don't really have the time, or you don't, you don't really want to be getting into that and finding finding it out on your own, I can help. So just um, contact me. My email address is empress13b at gmail.com. Contact me, and I can do a consultation for you, depending on what it is you want. If you want just a natal chart um, interpretation or excuse me, natal chart interpretation or a sinistry, a sinistry chart compatibility type um, reading. Anywho guys, that's it for now. I may come and make another video because I still have a lot more to say. I just wanted to get that one out because I was thinking about that today and I thought maybe if I put it in a simpler way my chart then you guys will be able to understand your own and how to look at other people and how they work in your life so more love more life more prosperity um, you guys be safe eat healthy stay away from those meats and keep your vibrations high I will be back tomorrow with a workout workout tomorrow is Thursday Alright guys, take care. Give thanks always.